Let me hear you say yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so it's been Corona crisis since, and finally things are opening up in Calgary. And we thought, why not go out and have some food to chop? So my friends then came up with something. So we're going to be going to this Afro Caribbean restaurant where we're all just going to hang out, out and hang out. Hey, English, hang out at. Uh, we're gonna try new food. So it's an Afro Caribbean restaurant and I thought I'll just take you guys along. So let's get ready. Well, I'm already ready as you can see <laughs> So let's go and I'm taking you guys along. Okay, enjoy The thing is not here. Late as usual. Nigerians are their ways of doing things. Eh? Get us to be. Anyways, we're here, guys. Um, Uzo, come say hi to my camera. Uzo, don't you miss me? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Budaro, Budaro. No no oh, hello. Hi. Hello, hello, hello viewers. <laughs> hello, 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 YouTube. Uzo is the reason why we're here today. Yeah. Yeah. You see, he's flogging me. Does he have manners? He's vlogging me. No belt guy. No belt guy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. ah, Mudia, come and say hi. Yeah, I don't know. Hi. hi. Oh. Say hi now. <laughs> Take out. Yeah. So they have jello fries, mm -hmm. and then they have and coconut cool. rice, and they're quite mm -hmm. affordable. Though, like, yeah, they're quite they're affordable. Nice. And then they have fried rice, um, and <laughs> this is only on Saturdays. Um, and they have the takeout bus, just plantain. So if you just want plantain, and then they have the fried rice whitening fish. No fried whitening. Oh, sorry. What is fried rice? I don't know for fried you. Fried whitening <laughs> fish. <laughs> and then they have the <laughs> butter flaked <laughs> fish. <laughs> and then mm -hmm. they have weekend specials. Oh, they have weekend specials. They have good pepper soup. Twice, three times. And then they have catfish oh, soup. I don't they remember. Have oxtail what? stew. What? Mm. I have um, call ahead items, so you basically have to call ahead for this one. Mm -hmm. This takes a while to make. Roti, um, chicken wrap. Oh, Kim will love this yeah. one though. Oh yeah? Kim yeah. will, yeah. <laughs> Curry, goat. Um, available soup, so they have a four, 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 four,
pot. Then they have baked goods here. Hmm. They have cut egg, puff pastry, beef sausage, puff beef or chicken patty, um, puff pastry, honey, garlic, puff sausage, well, that's a hot dog. Chin chin fried. And then this is like their main main dish, I guess. Dish, yeah. Coconut rice combo, smoky jello fries, fried rice combo, butternut soup, jerk chicken wings. Oh, jerk chicken wings, drum oh, drumstick, and smoked turkey. Perfect. So that's basically their menu, guys. That's basically the menu, guys. They have that one. <laughs> we haven't started ordering yet, but when we came in, we met an amazing lady here. So it appears that the customer service here is nice. She's actually a fellow YouTuber, Tolu Adekoju. I think that's her name. So Yen is delight. I'm excited to try the food to see how it tastes. We're just waiting for one more person here, Cynthia, before we order. Then we should be good to go. We should be good to order. They are making too much noise in the background because Nigerians are too noisy. Everywhere you go to, they make noise. Anyways, yeah. She came late. My organizer of the event. She's doing baby face now so that nobody will talk too much. Everybody will think, ah, let's not hurt Cynthia's feelings. Seriously. Let's not hurt her feelings. Eh? I just kept us here waiting. I actually forgot this place with the Jesus, Cynthia. Jesus. 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 Only our vlog. Jesus. No, but it's clean though. It's just clean for no, no, like Ninja, really like African like restaurant. It's really nice. Is it buffet yeah, style? Like, food? 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 Enjoyed her food. Precious has literally finished hers. This is uh, hard. I um, was it? Cynthia likes vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> She's losing her wits. Wait, 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 wait. Why is she laughing? Don't you like vegetables? You like vegetables, right? Guys, sorry, sorry. What's that called? I do like fish. So anyways, we're waiting for scotch egg now. Two. Is it two you said? Yeah, two. Later, later. You're frying it. Oh, so you have to tell them to fry it. It's a lie. She doesn't say what. She just say. I want it. So hard. Okay, all right. She's frying it. Uzo, how do you feel? Are you going to his mouthpiece? How come you keep quiet? So he's a jolly good fellow. So he's a jolly good fellow. Guys, my soup yeah, is too much. It's too much. I've been drinking water since. I've drinking water. I'm tired of drinking water. You drink now. I don't, I don't want. I don't want you to eat all that rice now. Okay. So guys. I'll be able to squeeze a place to put this camera. So this table. Okay, let me drink my soup. <laughs> <laughs> Let's eat that dress. There's lots of soup, guys. So if you like soup. I think I need this thing. Ah, after you have almost finished your food. That's <laughs> opening. <laughs> so thank God. Ah, my scotch egg is coming on. Okay, thank you. Wow. Wow, this is nice. This scotch egg is big, well, look at the egg roll. <laughs> This is nice. Guys, this contract is big. Yeah, it's a nice one. Don't <laughs> <laughs> so say that. Everything is nice. Well, it is it is it is it is it is <laughs> See, guys, 
first of all, there's lots of oil in this conject. Look at everybody's plates. Oh, they should have finished their food. Sir. <laughs> See, are you even following my issue? You have to follow. Guys, there's lots of oil in this stuff. Oh no, there's lots of oil. Oh, can you see? Yes. Ah. Yes. Too big. <laughs> Did you say it's too big? enjoyed ourselves there but we thought we'd give our honest review about like Yenis Delight so first off the first things first we're gonna start off by talking about the location so for the location I think it's an okay location um, there's parking there you can easily find it even though our GPS took us somewhere else first before I'll be right <laughs> yeah GPS our GPS took us somewhere else and um, um, but eventually we found it yeah. so it was not too bad to find when you enter that place that place is mwah, for, especially for a Nigerian restaurant <laughs> Nigerian restaurant in Calgary that we've seen this is it, totally nice, nice. Like, it's very different it's <laughs> different from all the Nigerian restaurants that we've seen in Calgary and trust me we used to eat Nigerian food especially when we used to live outside of Calgary mm -hmm. when we used to come here we used to like go to all the Nigerian restaurants because it was just like a way to support our people and basically a way to just um, eat Nigerian food without having to cook in Calgary and this was when we used to live outside of Calgary, right? So in terms of like the ambient, you will see it now. The lights are good. Everything, the place is clean. And Nigerian restaurants are always like, you just like, you just like, what's happening? Like everything was clean. The only thing I have with your amp, well, I don't need to call this ambience or whatever, or sitting or whatever. They are sitting. Is it's kind of small. It's for just like two or four people. It's yeah. mostly a takeout spot. That's what I would say. Yeah, if you're spot. there to to order food and just take out, yes, it's a, it's a place for you. But for like a family of six or family of like whatever, or coming with a group of people, the seating is going to be very difficult for you because it's, it's not a seat for six people. It's a seat for two or four people. It's like two or four people. <laughs> yeah. So basically, not a place for like large crowds. It's just like a place for like two, three people. Like I'm talking about the seating over you know, here. This is the seating. Then what else? Let's talk about now the, the customer service. Ah, mwah. This was customer nice. Customer service is good. Compared like, to other Nigerian restaurants. Other Nigerian restaurants. Yeah. Hey, they will be on the phone. They will, tell, they will be telling you that you are disturbing themselves as you are buying food from them. Hey. So, but this one, eh, the customer service of mwah. I really like their customer service and I really hope that they keep, you know, doing what they're doing. Their customer service was really good. Really, really good. So, which is new. Like to us, especially when we go to Nigerian restaurants. Nigerian restaurants, their customer service is always like zero to rubbish. So this one was really good. Then the other thing was the food. Now let's talk about food. <laughs> the scotch egg for me was very oily. It was like too much oil, and I let them know just so they can improve because I'm a business owner too. Uh, this is even like from my business. Edda Styles. So me and my sister own the business. We run Edda Styles together. Just in case you don't know, please go ahead to edastyles.com and order your African clothing, jewelry, whatever, head wraps, whatever it is that you need. We have it all there for you. We also have an Etsy store that you can check out. But let's come back to Yenis Delight. So in terms of your scotch egg, it was too oily and I let them know just so they can you know, work on it and make it better for their customers. Then I ordered pepper soup. The pepper soup, the soup was <laughs> too much. It was too much soup for me. Then the fish, they gave me only one fish inside that thing, catfish pepper soup. But later on, oh, yeah, when oh, I was oh, yeah, leaving oh, yeah. and one of my friends had ordered a um, catfish pepper soup, pepper soup to go. So they put two fish for her and I was like, ah, is it two fish or one? And the girl was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know it was one fish they gave to you. So she gave me another fish and 
told me to take that one home since I had already paid for everything, right? So I thought that was really nice of them to do, to find out that they had made a mistake and rectified the mistake immediately. So that was, the soup was not as spicy to me. The pepper soup, there was no pepper inside. There was no salt to me, to me. But then, everything depends on your palate at the end of the day. So if you're the kind of person that doesn't like salty food or doesn't like it too spicy, then yeah, this is the best place for you. Because she, she likes salty food. And not like I like salty spicy. food, but I like tasty food. You, you know like what I mean? Salty. It's not salty. about being salty. I like it tasty. It's not like I like salty. <laughs> way, salty. The food was tasty, whatever, please. Just My sister is annoying, but whatever. <laughs> just the salt wasn't that much in it, and it, it wasn't is, like tasty, tasty. And it's really hard. You can't get as, the exact, exact Nigerian. You know, like the typical Nigerian food here because they have to fit everyone's palate, right? Because everyone has different tastes, and they're trying to do business in Calgary. They're yeah, trying to so, attract people. Yeah. So if you go there and be like, oh, this food is not as tasty as I thought it was, of course, it depends on your own taste buds, like your own palate, what kind mm -hmm. of food you like. And The food was good. The food was good. It's just that for me, there was no... He said, in the menu, he said it was spicy. It wasn't spicy. And he also said, like, obviously he said pepper soup it would be tasty and all of that. It wasn't tasty to me. And I let them know because she asked for my honest review, so I let them know. So to me, the salt wasn't enough or the spice or whatever it is they put in there was not enough and it wasn't like hot like pepper soup hot but then like my sister said everyone has like different taste palettes and different taste buds and it's Calgary is a diverse place they have to fit other people's like you know preferences to not just someone like me and I told her I'm like oh my Yoruba we are Yoruba again why is there no pepper inside she was laughing and stuff so you know but either way that was just it for Misha for the pepper soup what did you think? It was just that, right? It was okay to me. I like the, the leaves inside the pepper soup. I didn't really like the jollof though, let me be honest. Um, the people that ate it said it was just okay. Maybe it was just that batch. And once again, like everyone has like different taste buds and stuff. The coconut rice was good. The only thing was like the coconut flavor was strong. Yeah, the flavor was too strong. <laughs> oh my God. It felt like they added like coconut flavoring. But either way, Honestly, it was, it's a different coconut rice from the usual coconut rice, rice that we know. Yeah, so, it's different. Like the flavoring was strong. The coconut flavoring was strong, and um, it's like an Afro Caribbean restaurant, so they have like Caribbean food as well as um, Nigerian food. Yeah, so I would so, say it's a hundred percent Nigerian place. So. It's not a hundred percent Nigerian. No. It's Afro Caribbean. So Afro Caribbean. So I guess they had that's roti. They, have... they had like patties. They have like different things, like jack chicken. Different things they have there. So I, so I show you guys the menu. Nigerian so. food kind of uh, doesn't taste exactly the way we know Nigerian food for because I think they're trying to fit in the Caribbean taste too well like I said mm. it's like for the whole like population they're trying to make sure that they attract customers either way is an if I do the average so I've talked about food the ambience customer service location what else is there to talk about um, parking is good everything. that's pretty much a sitting we've talked about sitting uh, we didn't talk about I don't know was there washrooms there I don't yeah, there is, but we due to COVID nineteen, washrooms are closed. Washrooms are closed. Okay. There is. Yeah. The place is clean. The place it's is clean. clean. Hey, for a Nigerian restaurant, ah, it was clean. <laughs> oh God, Not it was Niger. clean. <laughs> Car like Caribbean, Niger, Caribbean, Afro Caribbean. Afro -Caribbean the last Afro Caribbean restaurant. restaurant we went to was not like this. So this one was nice. Then, um, if I'm to average everything totally, I'll give it like seven. Seven oh. over ten. So, but guys, what will you give it? I'll give it an eight. Okay. I'll give it an eight, but I'll say you guys go try it out. Like try it out. Too. Can, I think it's better to try it out and, and know for see yourself. for yourself. Okay, so that's pretty much it for um, Yeni's delight. I really like the girl there, and maybe I'm a little bit biased because of her. Um, but yeah, it was a it was a nice place. In 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 all, it's a good place to go to and try. If you're looking for a new place in Calgary, definitely go check it out. And yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Do you have anything else to say about the place? No. Yeah. So I just thought I'll bring my sister here, so it's not just me making this um uh what's it called like giving like the review of the place um it was pretty nice we went with a couple of friends they made us laugh too much um i was yeah. literally crying we, i was literally crying <laughs> laughing Laugh, like crying. we're just laughing about different things and stuff oh the portions we didn't talk about the portions the portions are pretty small though let's don't lie the portions are small there's no place that you will see the portion you can't oh, yeah, oh, yeah, the portions are small. It was really small. Even one of our friends had mentioned something to her, and she quickly like added for us and stuff. But the portions were small. Like the guy who served us, like the portions were really small. They were really small because it was not like gave me one fish too. 
<laughs> yes, she's the one that gave me one fish. The portions were small. When it was on, I said something. That's when she now added and said, Oh my god, sorry and stuff. She now added more and stuff. Well, the portions were small. I guess the guy doesn't know the business. <laughs> like that, yeah. That he, he was helping. Maybe they are. It's like a family owned business and I'm down for like family, anything family owned. I'm like down to support and whatever. And this looks like a place that I'll probably come here again just to support, honestly. So if you're in Calgary, Yenny's Delight, they're in the northeast part of Calgary, definitely check them out. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And I got my sister here, Tasha Lee. And I'm out, subscribe. Anyways guys, please subscribe and click on the notification button and i'll see you guys in my next video one well, of my friends was just telling me today that what's happening is say we haven't been seeing vlogs like we want to see more vlogs so i'm gonna try to do more vlogs but yeah you guys know coronavirus there's really been nowhere to go to in calgary because of the coronavirus i'm just happy that things are reopening now in calgary that we can even go out again so anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys bye